Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to create a scene. It's really easy, really quickly, but one thing it does have, like I'm going to be using add-ons that cost money. But what I want to do is just illustrate how easy add-ons make your life and how easy it is to actually create a scene when you have the right tools. So first thing, you're going to go to edit, preferences, and go here and type in landscape. This is a free add-on, so just enable it, go here, save preferences. Then what you want to do is go shift A, mesh, landscape, okay, and then go here, go to presets, and look for a June. Okay, and then you can just randomize it, so go to random seed, zoom in, and then just find one. That you like, I like this one. Okay, then click on this, go S, scale it up, something like that. Okay, and now go to Z, go to top view, and then S, small, scale it up, something like this. G, bring it to the side, Shift D, duplicate it. Okay, now go to camera. Go here, zoom in, not zoom in, go to Y, bring your camera in, something like that. Okay, then first add-on we're going to use, well, second one, first paid one, is you're going to click here on this, and go to polygonic, we want grass. Okay, click here, enable, there we go, same thing there, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and now what you can do is go to Z, click on both of these, go Shift D, and then add one there. And now I've got a camera. You can see how nice that looks. Okay, and then what you can do is click on your camera and then just bring it back. Something like this. Okay, you can also bring it down if you want. Also to the side. And then we can always adjust this later on. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to Polyhaven or wherever you download HDRs, download one that's for this sunshine. So then go to shading, go to world, let's go here just to make your computer faster. Go shift A, type in environment, and add an environment texture, plug the color into the color. Then go control T, click on environment texture. And if you don't, if you when you if when you click control T, nothing happens. Go to edit, preferences, go here and type in node and enable node wrangler. Okay, it will work then I promise. Then wherever you saved a HDR, this one I'm gonna use, just to import it. And now what you can do is go to your camera. And then go here, and that looks pretty good. What I might do is adjust this camera, bring it in a little bit. It's like 20, 26 millimeters is good. Okay, it looks a bit flat now. So what I'm going to do is go Shift A, add a light, add a sunlight, and then have a look now. That looks a lot better. Okay, you can always bring this so you can adjust the jazz string. You can make it five, you can make it two, you can make it one. You can even change the color, make it like orange, completely up to you. Okay, but you can see the difference by hide this. When I enable it, it looks a bit better. Next thing you want to do is add a tree. So again, Polyhaven spawn assets and then we can see all these trees so you can see here and then and then if you want dead trees or like brown autumn kind of trees they got it flowers got it but what I'm gonna do is just quickly go with the tree so yeah I always like, 
I'm a big fan of these kind of trees. So I'm gonna go with this one. Boom. And it has it right there. Then I can just click on it, S, scale it up, G, bring it to somewhere like this. And also it's all about playing around with the HDR. So if I go here, now hide the sun, I've got the polyhaven add-on. I can use that as well. So yeah, there's also a paid one, but it's all the add-ons. It's all the free downloads that you can do all in one place. You don't have to go on the website, download and import it. You just, it's all here. You can go, quite always like the sunflower one. Throw it on there and it looks even better. Okay, and all I'd have to do is just adjust this. So how do we do that? Let me just hide this. Actually, I'm going to delete the sun. Go here. Z. And then select this one. Shift D. Bring it back. Shift D. Bring it back. Let's have a look now. Go here. Okay. Now, we just want to get rid of this. Yeah. So what we can do. Let's go here. Same thing. Then just do this one more time. Shift D. But with a selected, go to X, and then just go R, rotate it a little bit, G, bring it up a touch, okay? And that should fix it, so let's have a look. Looks good enough. Then G, and you can scale this up some more. That looks pretty good. You can just play with scale, obviously this is a little bit out. I'm not gonna get it perfect, but I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to create something quick. Now this thing, change this to 8K. Just makes the clouds more clear. And then what you can do is throw on some rocks. So yeah, spawn, boom, look for rocks. And then you can just throw on something like this. And then go to top view, rocks. Bring us forward. S, scale it down. Go Shift D, duplicate it, scale it, Shift D. Like that, Shift D. Go to X, G, bring it up. And then G, bring it into the picture. S, scale it down. It just adds a little bit more realism to the scene you can see how the rocks and there's literally how easy it is to create a scene the last thing you can do if you really want is go overboard go up to your camera select this go to depth of field click this and click on your tree and this blurs out your background makes it look like a photo and there we go that's how easy it is to create a scene it's very easy with the right add-ons takes you a couple of minutes whereas if you had to do this with no add-ons it's not gonna look as good first of all and it's gonna take you hours so not sponsored by botanic not sponsored by polyhaven just thought i'd share with you guys help you out so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and i appreciate the support on the channel see you in the next video